how, how are things going in, in light of uh, what's, uh, what you've been hearing or what we know, you know about uh, the virus and, and uh, any particular cautions, precautions you guys are taking? Well, I mean, using your sanitizers and keeping everything clean and just checking behind yourself and pretty much from the news that we've been getting from the uh, News 19 and everybody, they've been keeping us pretty much straight. Um, any particular impact on, as far as uh, the business? Not really. Um, some people cancel, you know, their appointments mm -hmm. just because, you know, they're taking measurements and cautions on about how they do and move about right now. Okay. Yeah, we're washing our hands constantly, you know, even when we don't have people in, you know, and I'm always cleaning up in here, so after I clean up, I wash my hands more so now than like, no more than what I've normally done, you know, we're just making sure that we're keeping ourselves, you know, uh, safe as well as healthy. Um, we do have a lot of uh, bacterial soap as well as moisturizers, so once you finish washing your hands, you know, you, we moisturize ourselves and, I mean, we just, we're doing those particular precautious things um, where, where we would normally I guess I would say hug a lot of our, our customers coming. We right now we're not, you know, just to make sure that we're maintaining, you know, safety precautions for them as well as us, you know. So um, those are, you know, those are some of the, the uh, immediate precautions that we're taking. But it doesn't stop the type of service that we give the people as well. So we still want to be respectful of people as providing uh, good service to them. Are your customers taking any special? Precautions that you've noticed, or is well, I mean, still, everybody's you know, most of the folks here kind of know one another. Now, yeah, you know? we got like family, you know, because right. I've been here 30 years, right. so everybody knows everybody pretty much. Uh, everybody, you know, some people come in with masks on and stuff, but I mean, other than that, everybody else is kind of just good. laying low, you know. Uh, but I think everybody's taking good precautions as far as, um, you know. What, it kind of hit us all at one time, you know. Yeah. Nobody really knows. I mean, so everybody's kind of like just taking extra precaution, yeah. you know. Has there been any changes in your uh, customer flow? Um, are you experiencing anything now? And well, I haven't experienced anything as of yet, but after getting more information, I'm beginning to make some changes on my own. And I'm thinking, um, this week, as of today, I'm going to start calling my clients and asking them if they could just change their appointments because um, we're coming in very close contact with them. We're having to touch them and we're real close to one another. And one thing we do in the beauty industry, we are doing a lot of disinfecting because that's part of our job to do that anywho. Mm -hmm. But because of the seriousness of the matter, we're thinking it would be best if we just hold off for at least a week or so with doing the hair because that's something that we can do without when it comes to our health. We can come up with some kind of style that will last a week or two versus getting a style that will last only a few days. Oh, so you're looking to um, um, maybe tweak your technique. Right, so give them a style that will last a little longer. Last a little longer. Right. We, uh, we kind of felt it starting last week, kind of slowing down. People got a little bit, uh, a little bit um, cautious, you know. And we're trying to do our best, you know, to have enough hand sanitizer. We have to uh, clean up everything, make sure the bathroom, uh, we have soap in there, hot water and so forth. So that's, that's uh, our part to cover it, you know. Plus uh, extra bleach on everything, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> when we clean, which is, I guess, uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's the way um, on our part. Plus, I mean, we advise our everybody to wash their hands, wear gloves, and so forth in the back of the kitchen. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough you know, for a little bit. I mean, people are gonna get a little bit uh, scared, but I think uh, we everybody have to do their job. They have to do their duty, you know, toward his fellow uh, neighbor and uh, and human being. And I think overall, I mean, uh, the, 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 uh, the city and the people in the city and the government, they, I think they're doing the right things. And I think they are getting ahead of it, hopefully, right now. And the neighbor and the neighborhood and the community over here in this, in this area, over here in this district, is unbelievable. 
I think they're pulling together and I can feel it, you know, in the last couple of days, you know, the way they are, uh, they are acting and so forth and they are checking on us and, um, and uh, we're going to do our part, whatever they need to be done, we can do it, we will do it for sure. Okay. And we went ahead and um, got our market open, you know, yeah. in the back, so if anybody needs help, if anybody needs uh, what, any help we can do, we'll be more than happy to work with, you know. And the other thing too, for I know student uh, kids are out of school right yeah, now. Right. So any family have a children, you know, and uh, they need the help, we'll be more than happy, you know, give them free meal anytime for the children. So obviously this is a pretty serious event. Uh, last week when really things started picking up steam, we had a meeting on uh, Monday and Tuesday about, you know, the customer hotspots, who's touching what, who's, um, in what part of the store so obviously we stocked up on the uh, Clorox wipes the hand sanitizers we ordered an additional amount of soap to go in our bathrooms and our production area uh, I met with production staff as well about anything and everything we can do to, to keep everything clean so I know from a production standpoint they're doing a deep clean every day where they're sanitizing the floors the walls um, all of the countertops back there, the workstations back there. Up front, we are doing the same thing. We're sanitizing the doorknobs on the bathrooms, the knobs on the uh, sink in the bathrooms, the handles on the Coke machines, uh, the, going back and forth with the counters as people are coming and going. So, um, you know, from a cleanliness standpoint, cleaning the bathrooms, of course, every day, a, a deep cleansing. Um, so we're doing our due diligence to keep the germs down. This is a fluid situation. Um, things are going to change every day probably. Uh, we're going to do whatever we are instructed to do. We want to make sure we keep care of our employees, but of course our consumers as well, our customers, make sure that we do our due diligence. So if we get notification from NOMA or the City of Columbia or the State of South Carolina that you, know, you guys need to close down or pick up only, um, then we'll do that, of course. What I wanted to do was to get a good feel of, of the impact of the uh, issues and the expectations regarding the, the virus itself. Um, everyone seems to have uh, given it some thought and um, I think they've got a pretty good um, read on their customer base um, and it um, it's good to know that they are themselves taking certain precautions uh, as uh, you know the information comes out it, um, I think they're paying attention to uh, maybe an educational um, packet for themselves and, and also knowing how to uh, communicate and interact um, with, with the client base um, I'm inspired by the determination that these small businesses have to to um, to provide provide the service that they committed to, and to remain in the area, uh, the, the the effects of, of, of the coronavirus virus um, it's beyond everybody's control. So uh, we just need to listen to the uh, experts, and at the same time. Um, do what we can to help one another and make sure that everybody's safe.